Come on, Blakey. My grandma can pull very easy. Come on. A little less talk and a little more carrying there, Danny. Can't hey, Charlie, how about a little help here, huh? Can't feel my fingers. Uh, this song gun's heavy. Get to watch the puddle. Watch the puddle. Stink. Hey, say nice looking for Rosie. Hey, put it down, man. Put it down. Oh, my back. Get it up. Get it over. This man is heavy as I don't know what. Load him up. I'll give you a hand. Two, three. Up. Oh, no. We should put a clip on. Get up. It's a heavy something gun, ain't it? This has got to be the strangest load you guys have ever hauled. Why don't you just take him straight to the garbage truck? Amen, buddy. Yeah, he's garbage, all right. But we're getting paid to take him to the cemetery. Art Krantz and his wife, they want to make sure he's put six feet under. Yeah, well, if it makes him feel better. It was their little girl that this sucker killed. Don't know why the warden wouldn't let them come here and see him being burned. The warden wanted a dignified proceeding. I guess he felt the Krantz's would stir things up. Who could blame him? Yeah, well, let's get this shindig over with. I got to get back to Beekman's Diner as soon as possible. I promise Rosie I'd be back. You're really sweet on her, ain't you, Danny boy? None of your business. Anyhow, she said the lunch special was beef barley stew and hot buttermilk biscuits. Well, I guess we'll both eat at the Beacons then. So Reggie likes me better than you anyway. You wish. You guys be careful. Right. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Talking about Rosie. Wow. What do you mean she's sweet on you? A, a little bit, I think she's a little sweet on me. I don't like it. Like what? I just don't like it. It what? Like what? What are you talking about, Danny? Him. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that we're driving around with him in the back. Hey, don't worry about him. He's dead. He can't hurt you. I'm not worried about him hurting me. I just don't like it. I... You know, what he did and everything, the little girl. I don't think about what he did. I don't think about what he did, and you shouldn't either. Just put it out of your head. I can't, you know. Just having him back there, I just don't like it. It's not right. Relax. We, 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 don't get yourself all worked up. I'll be glad we're done burying the damn creep. <laughs> don't speak ill of the dead, Danny boy. I'll just be happy when it's over with. Just having the back of this truck gives me the creeps. Admit it, Mike. You look a little shaken. Creeps, Stephen, the creeps, huh? Well, I guess most folks would feel the same way. That's why we have to dig the whole good distance away from everybody else. He don't deserve to be next to ordinary, decent folk. He should have been cremated or burned at the stake. Electric chair is too good for him, if you ask me. Right here, Danny. I want you to dig it right here. Howdy, folks. Well, we brung them. You know, I don't know why they wouldn't let you watch the execution, Mr. Krantz. Didn't want to. Just want to make sure he's dead. Oh, they gave him a good enough jolt. 50,000 volts out here, tell. His brain's fried, you can believe it. Don't know why you want to pay for the burial. Should have let the state cremate him. We don't believe in cremation. We believe in the fires of hell. That's the Lord's way of punishing sinners. He raped and strangled our little girl. If I could have, I would have burned him with my own hands. Easy, Arthur. The Lord has him now, and I'm sure he'll be judged harshly. We're told that not all sinners go to hell, Reverend Hicks. The ones that repent are forgiven. Some sins should be beyond repentance. Take the lid off the coffin so I can see his face. I swore I'd see him dead, and I will see him and make sure. I don't harbor any fears. It's not really him down in that box. Control yourself, Arthur. That was uncalled for. Be mindful of the mysterious ways of the Lord, else you lose your own immortal soul. Now, I'm going to say a short prayer, and then we best leave. A prayer? I'm not staying for it. I don't want to hear it. He doesn't deserve a prayer, Reverend Hicks. Oh, Lord of mercy and justice, we trust that there is a time for punishment and a time for forgiveness. And we will leave the judgment of both in your almighty hands. I do not ask for mercy upon the soul of the one that we bury here today. 
I ask only for justice. Amen. Uh, let's put the lid back on and get this whole dog, Danny. Yeah, I gotta get the beacons. He moved. What? He moved. He's <laughs> Danny Void. Corpses often twitch. It's nothing. You know a frog's label twitch even after it's been cut off? He ain't no frog. I, I, I heard a person surviving executions, even hanged. Well, he wasn't hanged. He was electrocuted. Now, give me a hand. Dude. Well, maybe they didn't give him up juice. Look. 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 He's moving. He's moving. Help me, Danny. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on Mikey. Come on, quick. Hurry. Hurry. Come on. Come on, Mikey. Hurry up. Good Lord.
This is Darlene Davies with Channel 7 News. I'm here with Reverend John Hicks, pastor of the First Church of the Divine Power. We are currently at the uh, a cemetery where there was supposed to be a burial of an executed felon. Uh, Reverend Hicks was one of the first to report on what at the time seemed to be so unbelievable, so bizarre, that the dead could rise again, could somehow become mobile. Reverend, how would you explain this? This is like the flood that struck in Noah's time, or the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. We are being punished for our sins. The dead are rising, and Judgment Day is a pause. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I condemn thee to eternal death and damnation. May the beasts of hell that inhabit you leave your body so that your soul may burn in everlasting fire. So your soul may burn in everlasting fire. <laughs> Any more of these things around? No, that's the only one I saw. Well, that one. You better get yourself a gun just in case. Let's go get us another one. Now, do you believe that the Lord works in mysterious ways? It is He who has saved me for a higher purpose. Uh, I see they uh, allow you to have a pet, Reverend Hicks. This is Mushu, my companion and protector, Miss Davies. He's really cute, but I don't see how he could uh, protect you from very much. But the idea is to protect all of you from me. If I suddenly became one of those things, I would probably attack the closest thing living, Mushu, instead of someone more important, like you, for example. That's how the authorities have reasoned it out. But of course, the authorities' reasoning is faulty, atheistic, in fact. I learned that um, they're studying your immune system, trying to find out why you survived, um, but there doesn't seem to be a difference between your body chemistry and, say, someone who's um, not infected. Of course not. God has chosen me as he chose St. Paul. Through me, a miracle has been worked. I must be allowed to return to my church and continue the work of the Lord. Will you be my advocate, Miss Davies? Well, yes, I, I want to start by writing a story. That's, that's why I'm here. Um, I believe, Reverend, that they're going to be releasing you soon. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't have allowed me to interview you. Arthur Krantz was put in jail for hiding me in his home. He and his wife, Hilda, bathed and cleaned my wound with holy water. And they prayed while I was delirious for seven days and seven nights. Sanctifying grace heals the body and the soul. I am living proof. But the scientists are all atheists and agnostics. When I didn't become one of those dead things, I was brought here to be studied. But what happened to me goes beyond the scope of their pitiful secular rationalizations. So you don't think they'll find a biological reason for any of this? Uh 
virus, a germ? No. Those things were demons. Creatures of Satan inhabiting the bodies of our dead. And the demons are still loose in this world. And the dead must be spiked. Spiked? What do you mean? Spiked as the hands of Jesus were spiked to the cross. Spike the dead to prevent them from rising before Judgment Day. All sinners must repent and the dead must be spiked. Heed the word of the Lord, or the dead will rise again possessed by demons. And ye who are unclean shall be damned forever and ever in eternal fire. Hey, Randy, light these torches over here. Back, back.